This anime brought me to tears, even after reading the manga, which by the way also brought me to tears. I get emotional easily but I was not expecting it to hit this hard. Every time you think it's about to chill out, it punches you right in the guts. Not that it's just another crybait anime, it's a fantasy story with so many elements to it with wholesome and funny moments. Really gets you invested especially with the long premise, and they nailed the pacing. I was worried that it wouldn't really translate well from the manga, but the mad lads at Studio Madhouse actually did it. It's a story about an elf Furen who basically has an insanely long lifespan compared compared to your average humans, taking place after a party of heroes Himmel, Hyder, and Aizen, with Freeran as their mage defeating a demon lord and finishing the quest. Unlike most other fantasy stories or role playing games where it takes place during the grand adventure, this explores a rare aftermath, the after story. A 10 year journey which to Freeran felt like what would seem to us like mere minutes. The story of this elf slowly witnessing the passing of her dear friends one by one, or I guess in this case quickly. The anime really puts you off with how detached Freeran is at the start. Everyone is reminiscing and thinking about the long journey and Freeran just acts like it's a small amount of her time, which is relatively true. And this is where the anime did so well. We get to explore this unique window of time through Freeran's point of view, when she goes on a new adventure which is shown through our screen in a matter of minutes, with montages of her in so many places through different seasons, and when she's done it feels like what, weeks or months? But when she comes back, all of her party members are super old. Just like Freeran, we don't really get enough time to properly bond with the characters on the screen. Mind you, this is only like 10 to 15 minutes into the first episode. And this is where it surprises you, because what really hit and kicked everything off for both Freeran and us, the definitive gut punch was Himmel's funeral. People making fun of her for not looking sad until the moment where they're burying him in the ground. It's at this very moment Freeran breaks down into tears. Well not just her, I started tearing up seeing her tear up. It does so well to get you emotionally invested while seeing Freeran's view of time. I think it struck a chord when Freeran realized this person is not going to wake up ever again and this will be the last time I see him. The regret of not taking the time to know him just a bit longer and better. The way her friends hide her and I and just comforted her after. And it's not really something that's completely unrelatable either. There are moments where we can probably look back in our lives where it'd be someone who passed away or a friend we no longer hang out with and regretted taking that time for granted. Not to mention the amazing soundtracks by Evan Call, who if you didn't know was responsible for the soundtracks in Violet Evergarden. And it only just starts there, the more you watch, the more the anime progresses, the harder it hits. But I'll leave it at that because it's an amazing anime that I don't think anyone should sleep on this season. A really beautiful take about coming to terms with human mortality, goodbyes, and a fun new adventure with Fern and Stark. And it's going to run for two seasons so you can enjoy it every week till March 2024. So I just wanted to make a quick little video to hopefully convince anyone new or if you're having doubts to actually watch it. I probably titled it something like perfect and I obviously mean for now but I really hope they keep this quality up. As always if you enjoyed this video leave a like and if you're new here hit subscribe for more anime, manga and Japan related content and honestly whatever just comes to my brain. Anyways bye 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 like and subscribe. Peace.